Welcome back to Wear Wigs with me. Today I am wearing Isabella by Envy in the color lighter red. So let's get started. Isabella is a above the shoulder. So I'm going to say mid length. It's really going to depend on your measurements where this one hits you. On me, it's mid length. It is a curly, thick style. This wig has a ton of hair on it. Now, if you're looking at me right now and you're thinking, that does not look like the wig that they show on the website. It is because I have worked on this wig. When I got it, it was parted down the middle and the front of it was flat and swooping away from the face. It was not flattering on me. It's the length of the front. I'm not opposed to the middle part and the swoop away from the face, but these are longer pieces. When you look at the picture that are on websites, it looks like it's shorter pieces and that they all sweep away from the face. That's not what I got. So I just had these long and they swooped about right here and it just, it didn't look good. Super flat and then oh. swooping. It's got a mono top. You can part this wherever you want. So I found the place that was best for me. I steamed it back and let it set, let it cool. And I think it suits my face much better. The good thing about this style, because it has a mono part, you just put it on and play with it and find what works best for you. Let's dive into the rest of this wig because how it comes is only a part of it. Number one, it is thick. There is so much hair on this wig. There is no permatees. It is all hair fiber and it's a lot of it. And it is almost like two hairstyles. This whole top layer of hair is bigger barrel curls. It's got some straightness and then it has these full curls. And really the whole side is like this. It can just almost, it can become just one big curl if you don't mess with it. And both sides can do that. But the, about midway and then the whole back is almost like a completely different style. Watch when I hook, I'm gonna pick up this top layer and you can see it. It is curly and like tighter curls, not these big voluminous ones. And that goes for over here too. But then as you get more to the side, then this is all just the voluminous curl. So I don't know why they did it that way. I'm sure there was a reason, but it, I mean, that curl's not going anywhere. That is a very set in curl. And when I pull it off and we look at the cap, I mean, the curl goes like all the way to the nape. That is a <laughs> tight curl. So, I would not put a comb in this. I don't even know what would happen if it would frizz out. It may not even frizz out. I mean, those curls are like, we're gonna stay a curl. This is the look we're going for. So I don't think that, you've gotta like this look. I also, because of my face shape and, and head size, I need volume up here. Luckily, there's so much hair in this wig that's very easy to obtain. You just use those that layering and all that under curl and you can really get some volume up here. You'd probably have to put some product on it for it to stay because this is pretty heavy. I mean, these are heavy curls up here. And, and not that the, the hair fibers are really medium to fine and denier. It's just a lot of hair. Okay, so that's kind of the overall description of this. It is very curly. It's very thick. 
but if you like the, this kind of style, I mean, you're set. It reminds me a lot of Devotion by Belle Tress or Brave the Wave by Raquel Welch. It's kind of in that category for me. Like it's, you know, once you get this set, you don't have to mess with it because it's not going, I mean, it's going to look like this always, probably forever. I can really see this wig having a long life, just the way these hair fibers feel and the fact that you're just not going to have to mess with it. Once you get this part the way you want, you're set. Let's talk about this color. The color I chose was lighter red. Lighter red is a very pretty color from Envy. Envy has two colors that I usually gravitate toward. Creamed coffee is normally the, cover, the color I go toward. But this lighter red is very pretty. It is a true red color. It's very rich, it's very pigmented, it's very natural looking. It photographs beautifully. I mean, it's just a really pretty red color. Let's talk about the measurements. The Name Brand Wigs website says that the front is 10 inches. It says that the crown is nine to 10 inches, the sides are eight to nine inches, and the nape is 7.25. And it says that it weighs 5.75 ounces. It doesn't feel like 5.75 ounces. The average weight for most wigs is around four ounces. And this really just feels like any other wig I have. It doesn't feel really heavy. It's got to just be because of the amount of hair that is tied into this wig. This is all hair. Let's talk about the hair fibers and the permatease. This is Envy's blend of human hair and synthetic hair. It feels and looks very natural. I still would treat this as a synthetic wig when it comes to styling. I would use steam. I would just kind of be careful with the applying heat to it because there's still synthetic fibers in here. I always kind of lean on the side of synthetic styling options with wigs like this. You can do some more research and decide what's best for your for how you style your wigs. Like I said, there's no permatease. This is all hair. It is just a thick head of hair. Yeah, no permatease. So to get any more volume or lift, like I said earlier in the video, just use product or, you know, you, just using your hands. There's so much curl and layering and the texture of these human hair, synthetic hair fiber blend will help be able to create some volume just by using your hands. Let's talk about this cap. Look at this cap. It's pretty awesome, right? Okay, let's start off. You've got a full mono top. So you've got this silicone strip right here. I think it's silicone, whatever it is, it's different than the uh, monofilament and the lace. And that's gonna be great for people who like to use tape or if you just have total hair loss, this would be grippy on your head. I think that's gonna be great. The lace goes all the way around that ear. There are metal stays in here, but you get that full lace all the way around. Get an extended felt covered nape, Velcro adjusters, and then wefts. Look how close together those wefts are, you guys. I mean, a ton of hair on this wig. I don't know that I have ever seen wefts that close together. <laughs> it's got good stretch. I don't have any problem. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. I don't have any problem with this wig. I don't even have to wear a wig grip. I've said it in other MV videos before that MV wigs tend to be hit or miss for me. Uh, but this one I don't have any issues with. I'm going to put it on in just a minute, but I wanted to also show you. So this is the hair by the nape. I mean, look at that. That curl goes all the way to that nape. They are not messing around with this curl, you guys. 
but then you can kind of see how so you got all this curl and then this is like this is the front and the sides so it's interesting how they made this hmm. the other thing when they went to you'll notice this when you get it when they tied this hair into the that monofilament top they tied it like forward i mean it want it when you get it it all wants to go forward and then swoop back so that if you don't like that that takes some work and that's what i had to work on okay so same with all my wigs grab each side of the nape dive in i'm going to let it hit me mid forehead pull that down over your occipital bone and then you're going to pull this wig back if you ever wonder you just need the four fingers get that pulled back and then pull the ear tabs and you kind of have to be gentle because these are lace all the way around it's not like you can just grab onto those felt ear tabs and pull them down if I ever need to tuck hair, I grab the hair. I never grab the lace. I just grab the hair and pull it out. And that's all there is to it. It's a really cute style, you guys. Once I got this the way I wanted it, now I really like it. Okay, so I've talked about the cap, the measurements, the color, the permatease and hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Isabella is when I pulled it out of the box, it was shocking. And I was like, oh, what am I gonna do with this? I cannot, I and mean, I knew I was gonna review it, but I thought, how am I gonna make this work for me? And I did. It wasn't that difficult. I used, I steamed it. You're gonna need some steam. And now I think it's darling. Like I said earlier, it's very comparable to Devotion by Belle Tress, Brave the Wave by Raquel Welt. It's just that voluminous, curly, mid-length kind of bobbed style. This one is very much straight around the top, not a ton of volume, and then all most of the weight of the wig, especially from the front view, is right around here. The back There's a lot more curl. These hair fibers are fabulous though. You're getting a ton of hair in this wig. If you don't want that much hair, thin it out. But it's, it's really pretty. Like I said earlier in the video, this wig just feels like it's gonna last a long time. This cap feels well made. These hair fibers feel high quality. They look natural and it's just not going to be fussy. Once you get this the way you want it, you're not going to be fussing with it. So that always extends the life of a wig when you're not constantly creating that friction. I think you're going to get your money out of this wig. It is, it's a lot, it's a lot of wig. <laughs> it's a big style. It's a lot of hair. If this, if, if you're, attracted to this kind of a style, Isabella is a good one. Okay, so this has been my review of Isabella by Envy in the color lighter red. This piece was sent to me by Name Brand Wigs. So I'm gonna drop the link down below, go right over there, see if they have a color that, you, that suits you well, and let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I would love to know what you think about Isabella, and if you have it, please tell us more about it. I want to know how you styled it, just what you think about wearing it. Does it feel like a 5.75 ounce wig? Because I don't think so. Okay, I'll see you in my next video.